Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing good. How's it going? I know things are going okay here. I really kind of want to take a nap right now, but that's okay. Um, I'll probably, I might try to take one in a little bit after I'm done filming. But anyway, um, hope everyone is doing well. I know there's a few of you that joined us on Friday for a Zoom call, just kind of talk, see how everyone's doing, and also to let everyone know what was going on in light of finding out that we were going to be shut down for the rest of the year and just do virtual learning. And then also, too, um, we kind of wanted to see how things were going, and we waited for a while to kind of um, see what all information we needed to know because we had some meetings after that. So we wanted to wait until we had found out information from those meetings before we came out and talked to y'all. Now, today we are getting started with our writing. I'm excited because that means we're done reading. We finished the book. Um, it's kind of flown by in this past, what, month, really? Um, so today we are going to go into examining the writing prompt and then preparing some notes. So this is kind of like the brainstorming um, section at a professor in college used to call this like the brain dump part, which is where you take all that things you're thinking about and you just dump them on the page. So um, we're getting close to that. We're leading up to that because right now what we're doing is we're just kind of going through. We're seeing what we know and then we're just going to dump it on our page um, and kind of see what's happening. So let's go ahead and let's get started with this lesson. So big shout out to Mrs. Deschamps for working with y'all with the last part about guiding through. She did an amazing job. Um, and so I'm thankful that she did that. And she talked about the things. Um, she finished reading the book with y'all, which was awesome. Um, so you finished reading out of the dust. You've examined themes. So you should have done that whenever with those TP cast handouts, things like that, which apply to the novel and predicted Billy Joe's future. Hmm. So. Um, kind of looking and seeing how things from the text, like looking at the migrants, um, looking at the different historical um, sources, how those work together to maybe help us predict Billy Joe's future. So let's see what we're actually going to be doing today. Now, you might remember this little writing will from when we wrote um, about Hatchet. OK, so this is the writing process. You see um, a couple things here. OK, so you see the first little spoke in our wheel. There's six spokes all together, but we're really just going to focus on building understanding as well as brainstorming today. OK, so today we are going to assess our understanding of the novel out of the dust by first analyzing the culminating writing task prompt. So that's building our understanding and second, preparing the notes needed to answer the question. So that's that brainstorming or like I called in that first little bit, the brain dump. OK, so let's look at this. Let's build our understanding and let's also do a little brainstorming. All right, so you're going to need actually five things. It says four on here, but first um, you will need to get a pencil. OK, you're going to need your copy of Out of the Dust, whether you're doing it with the book or if you're doing it with the PDF. You're going to need to get your culminating writing task directions. That's on page 38 of your purple folders. Some of you might have green if um, in my class if I had to give you a new one. And then the culminating writing task brainstorming chart. Now, this is going to this isn't. Um, in the body part where it's in the, the prongs of the folder. This was actually something that we gave to you. Um, it should be in the back of that first ELA packet that was picked up when we first got out. Um, if you don't have it, that's OK. I'm actually going to attach it um, where you can get to it. Now, the culminating um, writing task brainstorming or brainstorming chart looks like this. OK, so do you see that? OK, so there's if you look, there's one, two, three rows on the front. OK, and on the back, there's actually one, two, three, four rows. OK, and it comes in my thoughts as well as evidence. So quotation, summary or paraphrase, paraphrase. And that's all from the text. Um, you're also going to need your reading log, which is this section in the back of your your folder. So if you need to get all that stuff together, pause the video when you have gotten it all set and ready to go. Click play and you'll be ready to begin. All right, boys and girls, you should be on page 38. So you should have gotten all your stuff together. You should have pressed um, play to go ahead and start the video again. And you should be the first thing you should do is turn to page 38 in your writing folder. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to read the writing prompt. So if you look on the screen, there is a little oval there. That is the writing prompt. The little bullet points underneath it are how you're going to answer that question, what you're going to need to do. Um, so again, what you need to do read the writing prompt and in that writing prompt in that little paragraph that looks like it's one two 
just two sentences, I want you to go through and underline keywords and phrases, okay? So go ahead, press pause, underline those keywords and phrases, and then we'll get, to, we'll get ready to go. So you should have underlined those keywords and phrases, and then you should be pressing, or have already finished that, and just press playback, okay? So if you haven't done that, press pause very quickly, all right? Okay, here we go. So this right here is actually the, the, just the question, okay? This is the writing prompt. So here is how it goes. Consider the title of the novel, Out of the Dust. How does the phrase, Out of the Dust, relate to a theme of the novel? To answer this question, write a literary analysis that includes a claim, supporting reasons, and several pieces of relevant text evidence. Okay, so let's take note of these bolded words. Okay, so if you look here, there says how. Okay, so when it's saying how, that means it needs an answer, not just a one word answer, but a description. Okay, so the next thing that's bolded is how the dust relate to a theme. Okay, so the title of this novel is How the Dust. Now we have talked about how this is set in the Dust Bowl. Um, this is during this time when there's dust storms. So what we're looking at is how Out of the Dust relates to a theme of the novel. Now it does notice it doesn't say the theme. Okay, a novel can have multiple themes. So Out of the Dust is one of those novels where they do have multiple themes, or where it does have multiple themes. So choose a theme that you feel like you can argue the strongest. And I want you to think about how Out of the Dust relates to that, okay? So how it ties into that, how it makes sense with that. Now, the next thing that's bolded is literary analysis. Now, think about what the word analyze, okay? When you analyze something, you'll look at it. You really pay attention to it. You might be doing a lot of analysis in um, science class, okay? That's where we do a lot of analyzing. But let's think about how we can do that with literature. When you look at a literary analysis, what that means is you take a text and you really look at it. You look at the theme, you look at some of the metaphors, you look at some of the, you look at some of the simile, you look at the poetic devices, okay? So it's gonna include a claim. Remember, a claim is what you're saying. So a lot of times a claim is rewritten or a claim is written by simply taking the prompt and rewriting it in a sentence, okay? supporting reasons. Reasons is our next word. So reason is when you have to think, okay? So sometimes we make decisions. Um, good decisions are usually based on sound logic, okay? Bad decisions we don't necessarily think through. So really think about what is your claim? What are you saying about this, okay? Um, so you're supporting reasons. Why are you making that claim? And several pieces of, several pieces. So this doesn't mean one, this doesn't mean two, this means multiple pieces. Um, of evidence, okay? That evidence, remember, is text, okay? So this isn't necessarily something that the character says outright. This can be something that they, that they do. So this is anything from the text itself that supports your claim, that supports the reasons for that claim, okay? So really be thinking about this um, and using your brain. Your brain is a powerful weapon um, for good, okay? So your brain is like the, if you've heard of this before, our brains are considered the smartest computers, okay? They're smarter than anything. And if you think about it, um, think about all the amazing things people have done without technology. Right now, technology is helpful, but also think about what our brains can do if we actually let them do it. So again, use your brain, be thinking of a claim to this question, um, the supporting reasons, stuff like that, okay? Remember, we're writing an argumentative essay. Now, I know some of you can pretty, be pretty good argue, um, arguers, and I bet your parents could say that too. Um, so use that arguing skill and let's write an essay about it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so let's start brainstorming for what you're going to write about. So let's look at this first thing. This brainstorming chart is going to help you kind of figure that out. Okay, so this is going to help you brainstorm to get you to that next stage, the writing stage. Um, so here is our writing prompt again. Considering the title of the text, or the novel, sorry, out of the dust, how does the phrase out of the dust relate to a theme of the novel? To answer this question, write a literary analysis that includes a claim, supporting reasons, and several pieces of relevant text evidence. Remember, what exactly is the theme? We've talked about it a lot this year. You talked about it a lot in these last lessons. Remember, the theme is the message. Okay, It's what the story is trying to tell you. Not necessarily like the actual storyline, but what's like the underlying message? Okay, What are they trying to tell you? What's the importance of something? 
So let's look at the different things that you need to do. This first one, identify key events in Alvin Dust, which involve Billy Joe and impact the course of events in the novel. Well, if you look at this first one right here, it says which key events involving Billy Joe impact the course of events in the novel. Okay. It's basically the same thing. It's just rewritten a little different. So again, you have here my thoughts and then your evidence. So this is your reasoning and then this is going to be your evidence. Okay. Um, this next one, determine the role of the setting and the dust um, play in each of those events. Okay. So again, identify key events. So multiple things and it's not just one, it's multiple things. Pick three. Okay. Determine the role, the setting, and the dust play in each of those events. Remember what exactly is setting, okay? It's the time, it's the place where things happen, it's the people that are there, okay? Who all is there? Um, so again, the question here is what role does the setting and the dust play in each of those events? So the key events that you've looked here, you're going to answer, okay, what's, what's the role the dust and the setting are playing there? This next one, examine the decisions Billy Joe makes and the outcomes of those decisions. What decisions does Billy Joe make and what are the outcomes of those decisions? almost the same thing it just changed and said examine it says what it asks you a question so look back at the character analysis charts that you've created or you've completed or you should have completed we tell you to do stuff like that because it's going to help you get through the lesson and then help you when you get to this writing this next one all right so on the back of this evaluate how those outcomes impact billy joe and lead her to change throughout the novel okay so how do, the out, how do those outcomes impact Billy Joe and lead her to change that the novel? Look at the character analysis chart throughout, like throughout the entire thing that we've done. Look at every single one when you've actually started putting her responses in. Um, this next one, determine what it means literally and figuratively for Billy Joe to get out of the dust. So again, what does it mean literally or figuratively for Billy Joe to get out of the dust? Almost the same thing. Now, remember, literally is where you're literally leaving. You're going. Um, literally, like, she literally leaves and runs away at one point. Figuratively means it's symbolic. It might be a metaphor or simile. These are where those poetic devices come in. And the last one actually is broken down into those two. Um, determine a theme of the novel based on your analysis of the setting and Billy Joe's changes over the course of the novel. So this goes, there's two questions that kind of tie into that. So this one, it says, choose a topic of the novel. Now notice it says a topic. So choose one of any of them, um, e.g., for example, family, forgiveness, hope, or growing up. Um, the next question is, what is the author saying about the topic based on your analysis of the setting and Billy Joe's changes over the course of the novel? Okay, so this is where things like your knowledge of mood and tone come in. That's why we've talked about it so much, because remember, when you're looking at the mood, it's how it, the, it's making you feel as a reader. The tone is the author's responses to, towards it. So think about um, what the author might be saying based on the tone okay, of your evidence. So that's how you're going to do it. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so I've already kind of talked about this chart already in the last slide. Um, so again, this is this page. This is what it looks like. So culminating writing task brainstorming chart. So this is the back of the ELA packet that was picked up in March. You're going to fill in the chart. Now you see here where I was talking about my thoughts as well as the evidence. Okay, so my thoughts are what you think about it. The evidence are different things from the text. So use notes that you've taken about the what you've read. Um, in your reading log to help you. So that's why we say take notes. That's very important here. And also um, use the charts that you filled out for each of those lessons. So go back, go through here, um, go through all of these videos, not well, all the videos, but go through all your notes from all the videos and from class two, okay? So press pause, fill out this chart, and when you're ready, you know, press play, and let's get started again. So ready, set, press pause. <laughs> Welcome back and you're done. You should have just finished filling out that brainstorming chart, okay? So in this lesson, you demonstrated your understanding of the novel by analyzing a writing prompt and creating a set of notes in preparation for writing. So you also worked with a partner to improve one another's notes. Now guys, we didn't get to do that unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, you know, talk to your parent. Let your parent help you with this part here, okay? So 
we kind of cut that out so we wouldn't have to do that because obviously we can't go through here. But, like, show your parents what you're doing. You know, ask them for some advice on, hey, do you think this is a good enough reason? Stuff like this, okay? Explain what you've been doing and say, hey, does this look okay? So, anyway, um, when you're finished with this, go outside, go play, go do something. Go take a break. Go have fun. Um, and then be ready for our next lesson, which is lesson 30. So, we'll actually go to our next step in the writing process, all right? So, once you're finished with this, again, go to Microsoft Teams, okay? I'm sending out a training video on how to fill it out there because the Lesson 29 um, link is actually going to be on Microsoft Teams. So we're kind of starting to practice this a little bit more. If you were in the video call on Friday, we talked about that, okay? So um, follow the directions that are there, respond through to it through there, and then check back and do Lesson 30 tomorrow, all right? So hope you are all doing wonderful. Um, again, Miss Deschamps and I both miss you very much, but um, we'll see each other again soon. It's not going to be this school year, um, but that's okay because we will see each other again soon, okay? Or we'll try our best to. So, talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye, guys.